We are talking about the movie Mermaid's Song, which is also known as Charlotte's Song. This is actually a 2015 movie and it was originally made as Charlotte's Song, but obviously now getting a more recent release under the title Mermaid's Song. So this one is directed by Nicholas Humphreys and stars Game of Thrones alum uh, Ewan Rion. Uh, not quite sure how you pronounce his name, he was Ramsey Bolton from Game of Thrones and here he plays another despicable character. Man, that guy is typecast. Anyway, this actually takes place in the 1930s and it focuses on this kind of, uh, this family ultimately. We have this guy who has, you know, daughters, etc. At the beginning of the movie, you know, we see his kind of wife. Um, ultimately, it's, it's, it appears to be she is some type of supernatural creature, you can probably guess in the title. Uh, she commits suicide, there's, there's, there's some type of pact that she kind of like, wants to kind of back out of. Um, ultimately, it follows this family as they are doing a kind of like a song and dance routine. But then they are approached by uh, this kind of shady kind of like character, this kind of like criminal type who ultimately wants to invest in their business and kind of get them out of a bit of a financial slump, but ultimately wants to turn their business into more of a uh, prostitution style uh, and almost like a kind of 1930s strip club slash um, brothel. So that is ultimately what happens to this family and it turns out the youngest daughter may have some inherited some type of uh, almost like hybrid uh, DNA from her mother and is also ultimately a kind of like uh, a subspecies of mer person and a human and she has the ability to sing and ultimately kind of transfix people into a kind of like a you know a, a blissful days ultimately and kind of like is, is then they use that to kind of like promote the business so that's your, that's your basic plot of your of the mermaid song one thing to note of this movie there is not a scene or, or shot in this movie of the ocean. This film is pretty much 99% shot in this one building with a couple of shots in, in, you know, in the kind of on, a, on a dusty road. So if you're expecting a seafaring adventure here, you will be thoroughly disappointed. Also, if you are expecting a creature feature with lots of effects, you'll be thoroughly disappointed. This creature is only in the very end of this movie and uh, the bulk of this film, so 95% of this film ultimately is this kind of like, uh, this 1930s kind of like Broadwalk Empire type, you know, gangsters and moles and all that kind of stuff. So probably not what you're going to think this movie is about. So if you're expecting a, a kind of a horror take on uh, The Little Mermaid, which is what it's billed as, you know, you may be disappointed ultimately. Uh, but that's not to say this movie doesn't have its, have its good points. I actually think the acting here is actually pretty good uh, for, the, for, the, for the most of the cast here. Um, some of the characters fell a little bit short changed in regards to characterization, and particularly the other sisters. You don't really ever feel like you kind of get to know any of them individually. They all kind of blend into one. But our principal characters, the kind of the, the, the young girl, the father, um, the, the kind of the criminal guy, there's this other guy that kind of popped up here and there as well. You feel like maybe you get to know a little bit. So, but I thought the acting for the most part was actually quite good. Also, I feel they do a good job of capturing this kind of like this 1930s feel, both in kind of in terms of kind of the set dressing, in terms of the costuming, and this kind of the way obviously it's kind of shot and everything. I actually think they've done a pretty good job of, of capturing that time frame. Everyone, you know, everyone's constantly smoking and everything like that. Um, that I thought was quite good. When we see the mermaid effects at the end of the movie, I've got to say I kind of quite liked them, they kind of, they were quite freaky looking to have this kind of neon uh, tinged mermaid, looks pretty damn impressive I've got to say, uh, and when, when we have our kind of, um, you know, uh, uh, the scenes where she's singing and kind of having these people sort of transfix, does seem genuinely alluring. But ultimately I feel this movie becomes a little bit boring because you, you it's, it's just the one setting and it, the movie's plot seems to just drag and drag and drag. I guess because of budgetary reasons, they kind of really only have this one set, and it never really kind of veers out of that, so you're seeing more or less the same things, just kind of being dragged out and dragged out. Um, so it becomes a little bit of an unfulfilling film, and like I've said, because you are probably going into this expecting to see mermaids, horror, things like that, special effects, 
again, you're going to be disappointed because I just don't feel this free movie maybe delivers and what it, it promises. And it's, like I said, for the most part, a kind of 1930s gangster drama with a sort of sprinkling of of supernatural. But uh, when when we do see it, it is, it is good. But I, I don't think it's particularly... Um, at that point, you may have checked out. A little bit lack of, lack of characterisation. A um, little bit of kind of like, you know, stodgy dialogue here and there. It's okay. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty okay movie, if, especially if you like period pieces. Uh, and maybe a bit more of a kind of a, you know, a classic monster story, I suppose, but with not huge amounts of payoff. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's a well-made film. I just don't think it's particularly interesting. Anyway, 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.